guys what's up welcome back to our channel and this is the fourth video of our exciting series build your own virtual assistant and today in this video we're going to be creating a bot and we're going to automate it through the python and we're also going to trend it on our personal database so this is going to be a more interesting and this is the important part so yeah sit back relax and let's get started Okay, so this was the code that we have done previously, but we're not going towards this code. So I'm going to tell you a website through which you can create your own chatbot or train the chatbot in like your personal data. So first, just go and search for bot press and then click on the first link and click on like sign up. After doing so, you will be redirected to this page. So first of all, you need to create your chatbot. So let me click on create chatbot. And then click on edit. So at first, you can't choose other templates like it will tell you that first you need to learn bot press then you will be able to use other templates so let me click on this and click on use template okay so now let me close this window and go over here and now i have a chat bot that i have created you can rename it or uh, now let me create a new chat bot so let me just create it so now our new chatbot has been created so let me go and edit and now i can use other templates so it's taking a okay so now you can see other templates are enabled so we'll go towards stat from scratch just click on and click on use template Okay, so once you have done that you will be redirected to this screen where you can move and you can zoom it zoom out okay so now first of all uh, let me remove this block okay so uh, let me remove this too okay so our first task is to create a standard node to do that let me just right click and click on standard node and then you will see a card over here so let me drag and put it over here and here i want my ai to take some input from the user so let me click on eight card and go on filter cards and search for a raw input and just click on it after that you'll see a sidebar where you will see question to ask the user so here you need to write the thing that we want to ask the user we want our ai to ask while starting the conversation so but basically if i'm a user then i start the conversation by writing hello or hi okay so let me write a simple text okay, now whenever i run and write something then it's going to reply me by writing hello my name is eva and how can i help you today okay so now let me connect it let me connect this star with this standard node one and let me connect it to the end okay so now whenever i go on my chatbot by clicking over here okay then let me write hello with i and then it will reply hello my name is eva and how can i help you so whenever i reload and then again write hi then it's going to reply us by writing hello my name is eva and how can i assist you today or help you today okay you can write whatever you want okay after that our next task is to make it to reply or is to trend it on our personal database okay? so to do that First, you will see a default knowledge base option over here. Here, this is the database from which our bot will be trained. Okay, so first, let me go on this main and click on this standard, uh, click on this raw input. Uh, okay, okay, so just let me click on standard node, and then here you will see enable knowledge and settings. So, whenever you run it on, then you will see a book icon over here. What basically it will take 
or it will reply us from the knowledge that is stored inside this database okay so let me just click on default database or i can create a new database by clicking on this icon so let me create a new database called eva database and then here i want it to like i want to store my information inside it so let me create on knowledge based source and click on text document and here let me write okay so now let us test our ai just click on this and write hello okay so let me reload the conversation and write hello and then it will answer hello my name is eva and how can i help you today so let me write what's my name and then you can see it will answer your name is john okay after that i can ask how old i am and let me ask another what's what's my bad habit yeah you can see you are 23 years old but bad habit and your bad habit is that you talk too much okay so now let me go on main after that like i want my eva to be trained on other different websites also i don't want it to be trained by writing this text document only so i want it to train on my website okay so let me just click and let me first copy the url of my website and click on it knowledge base source and let me click on web pages and add pages from url and then let me paste and you can also add sitemap so let me click on confirm and then it will take some time to scrap the website and now it's successfully done so let me close and you can see my it has now all data related to my website this page okay so let me ask who is icris studio so let me go and reload and write hello who is icris studio and let me send and then you will and then it will reply icris studio is a platform that offers coding education like that okay so now you can train on large amount of database okay so after that now my ai is not capable to answer the thing that is not inside my database okay so in that case like suppose the user asks the thing that is not stored inside my database then i want it to get a take a response from the ai and give it to the user okay so to do that let me click on another like let me right click and click on standard note and let me drag it over here and here first let me store the raw input inside a variable uh, called user input and then it will create a variable and now the user input is stored inside the user input variable so here let me click and add a card called ai generate text and the prompt will be taken from this user input variable and the output variable like the output will be stored inside a variable called output okay so after that uh, what i want to do like um, i need to add a text also over here so let me click on text and the message to send will be what will be stored inside our output variable so workflow dot output and now i think we are done now so let me connect this port towards 
let me break it down and connect it over here and then let me take and connect it over here and i think we're good to go so let me reload the conversion and write hello and then let me write what is the capital of france okay so you can see ai tax running and the capital of france is paris okay so now our ai has been successfully generated okay so now what i can do is like you can add some more important thing in your database or you can add a file also by writing documents and you can add by doing drag and drop or you can do other thing also okay so now that our ai has been successfully done so let me go on main and now it will start and stop after the time so i want it to go on in list like i want it to be in list so what i can do is instead of making or connecting it with the end i can connect it to this and uh, let me reload and write hello who is the president of us okay so you can see the ai has answered our question so i don't want it to write this again and again so let me do empty thing over here and now whenever i run after that uh, let me write what is the capital of us and the ai tax is running and the capital of united states is washington dc and then let me ask another question what what is the meaning of sympathy and and then you will see the answer and it's not telling like my name is eva again and again okay so after that now our bot is ready so i can just click on publish over here and then it will take some time so let me increase the speed okay so you can see bot published successfully so let me click on share and then i will be redirected to my chatbot okay, so the greeting is not in my database so it's not responding me quickly so let me write what is the capital of France. The capital of France is Paris. And let me write what's my name. Wait. And then it's all reply. Oh, your name is John. I do my name is I'm in England. Okay. So let me write what's my bad habit. Their bad habit is that you talk too much okay so now our bot is ready so in the like in the next video we're gonna be automating it through python which is going to be a lot of fun and yeah that's much for this today's video i hope you found this video too much helpful so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye